So now let's go to question three. So after we finish question one, we finish question two, time for question three. It's a hundred word reading about a term that you would get in a science class, a psychology class, or a business class. Let's jump right in to make sure we stay on time. Has a similarity to question two in its presentation, but now it's academic content. So you have the title, always, and what you want to do is take notes on one or two sentences only. You're reading everything, but you're concentrating on only one or two sentences, you know, that help you understand this title best so that you can use your notes to explain that in your recording. 45 seconds to do that. Good luck. Begin reading and taking your notes now. And now, the lecture. So, take notes. The lecture appears right after. You know, don't feel stressed. Trust your brain. The lecture is going to give you an example that illustrates the definition, so it will help improve your comprehension. So, the professor begins now. Let me tell you about an organization doing big things in the field of sustainability. Printing like most other businesses, exploits limited resources such as paper and employs certain substances that can damage the environment such as ink, glues, and so on. If every printing company just went about their business without any regard for what impact they were making, the industry wouldn't last for very much longer. A local printing company, however, has taken a different approach. This local printing company is so unique not because it doesn't use such material in its work, but because of the way it does so. Rather than purchase uh, paper from any company, it first attempts to purchase recycled paper whenever possible. If a client demands clean, unrecycled paper, the company buys it only from companies that themselves use sustainable practices, such as planting a tree for each one removed in the process of making paper. Also, the ink used by most printing companies releases harmful chemicals into the environment, chemicals that add to air pollution. This company reduces its environmental footprint by taking advantage of vegetable oil-based inks that release almost no toxic substances into the air and that are themselves made from sustainable companies. The glue used to attach papers to produce books is in itself as bad as the effect it has on the recycling process. This glue tends to damage the machines responsible for changing old, useless paper into usable, recycled paper. To limit this negative effect, this printing company employs glue in only limited circumstances. That's a lot, right? So, my students, you're familiar with that? but I want you to all be aware whether you hear this for the first time or a hundred times did you stay calm did you take notes appropriately just because you can take a lot of notes if you're a, a well-trained student at this point you know you can't say everything so if you take too many notes it'll work against you because it might confuse you when you answer so there's a delicate balance slash dance between listening, understanding, and taking notes. Now you get your question. Explain sustainability by using the example of the printing company provided by the professor. And then Christian, or sorry, Larissa asked, do we see the timer on the test? Yes, you do when you deliver your answer. Christian, so awesome, replied, love that you're interacting with each other in the messages because you're all, you're all 
noteful students. You're all part of a group, and we're all in this together helping, helping one another. So really happy that you're messaging. Some of you are replying, you know, what's this, what's that from noteful courses. So really appreciate your support with that. So just wanted to add that. And so now you have 30 seconds to prepare. So you're reviewing your notes and organizing. Here's the question. Take your deep breath. Calm yourself. Nobody's perfect. Just explain what you understand the best you can. So you're preparing to answer the question starting now. Preparation time. All right, so keep breathing nice, deep, and calm. Oh, wait, you need the question. So one more time, everybody. Eyes closed, deep breath with me. Say it with me. Believe it. I can do it. And everybody begin speaking now. All right, bravo, that's time. So everybody, hope you're doing well and, and getting that good, comfortable sense of things. My turn. Eyes closed, deep breath. I can do it. And I begin. The article is about sustainability. It explains that it's a way that businesses use limited resources to limit the negative impact on the environment and make sure they're there for the future. And the professor provides a great example of a printing company to illustrate sustainability. He explains that this special printing company only uses recycled paper, but when clients want new paper, they only get it from companies that have sustainable practices, like planting trees for the trees they use. Also, this company uses vegetable oil-based inks because it can have a harmful impact on the environment if they're regular ink. And also, to limit the negative impact, this company uses glue in a limited way because it may damage recycling machinery. So for me, I spent too much time on paper. That's why I didn't get a chance to conclude. So not an ideal answer. Still would be a 30 out of 30. But as a, as a student and as a trainer, I know, okay, got to make sure time management is there. So I want to make sure you recognize that you're never going to be perfect. Nobody is. But when you're applying everything you learn, calm, natural speech, uh, connection, time management, you're going to get your score even if you get cut off or you finish early. So you don't want to be perfect. You just want to be training towards the ideal and you'll be getting there. Just keep training, keep training, keep training. Does that make sense, everybody? Does that help? Let me know. Feed me that feedback. Ramesh asks, is it okay? Can we repeat words from the passage? Yes. 
Yes. You need that for connection? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So now you heard me. Now it's up to you to go again and apply what you learned through that example. So everybody, eyes closed, deep breath. Repeat after me. I can do it. And everyone, begin. How did we do, everybody? Let me see the, the emoji, if you can send it. Smiley face, heart, sad face, angry face. How do you feel about your answer? How did you do? How are you feeling with your performance? 